bad. It's nothing can ever happen. Or are we looking at it as a, my God's going to take care of that. He's going to take care of me or he's going to take care of that. Either way, I'm taken care of. And that's what he's saying. It's your portion, it's your inheritance. You have, you know, waiting confidently for him. But if I don't know who he is and I don't know what he offers, remember last week we talked about the ticket. We have a, we have a all expense paid ticket for all the meals, all the shows on the cruise ship, but we only use it to get on and then we hide and we try to get some food and we're happy someone give us a water, but they give us water because it was already paid for. We didn't enjoy the cruise as much as we could because we didn't use the ticket to its full capacity. God wants to give us everything in eternity, but he wants to do some things for us now also. And that's what Jeremiah is getting to. I confident, but I have to dig into the Word of God. I have to continue to ask God, what are, what are you offering? What's the buy one, get one free this week, Lord? What's on sale in the grocery store this week, Lord? What, what, yeah, I, I can't wait to get your sale flyer when I open this book up and say, Ooh, I can get this, that, and that. It ain't gonna cost me nothing except a yes. I can give a yes. Get a fresh dose of faithfulness every day. Yeah. This is faithfulness. I understand. If I read, you'll tell me something. If I read, you will speak to me. We get so hung up about Deborah, this is God speaking to you. I ain't never heard that. But every time I pick his book up, he speaks to me every time. He speaks to me when I didn't really want to pick it up and I picked it up anyway. He says, I know you don't want to hear from me, but I'm at least going to say hi. And I'll go, yeah, okay, hi. <laughs> and then he starts to change me. I want to be in a place where I have to read this, not that I want to. I have to read it because the person I love the most is waiting for me. You know, when, when, when you were, I don't know if you did this, I didn't do it much either, but I know people did it. When, when, when they got home from school, they hoped mom wasn't, was busy so they could get on the phone and call the boy or the girl and talk to him forever. I just can't wait to talk to him. I got home. I just talked to him two seconds ago when I got off the bus, but I can't. Are they home yet? Or is Billy there? No, Billy's not here yet. He's still on the bus. Okay, I'll call back. And you talk on the phone forever and ever and ever. Where's the anticipation like that for God? I can't wait to pick up the phone and say, Hello, Lord. What are we going to talk about today? Deborah sends me texts. And they're beautiful. Yeah. Wow, she has Bible verses in them and explanations and prayer. Yep. And, oh, I love it when she sends them. I, I ask her, um, can I, uh, you know, Copy this and send it out yeah. to people, and she said yes. Yeah. And at least I think I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, you know, she just brightens a lot of people's yeah. lives through sharing God with yeah. them. And it's fascinating. That's what God wants to do. He's faithful through us. What are we doing with the faithfulness for Him through us? He's faithful to us so that we can be faithful through us to someone else. I'm going to show you my goodness. I'm going to show you how great I am. I'm going to show you that I can change situations or change you so that you can go and be a light to the world and tell others you can do the same thing. And it keeps going on. The Lord is good to those who wait confidently, wait confidently for Him. To those who seek Him on the authority of God's Word. Are you seeking Him? Amplified says on the authority of God's Word. So when I read something, I can go, well, you know, Lord, it says I can confidently wait for you. You got this. Because that's what your word says. I may not understand. I don't have to understand. I just need to know you got this. 